Hey everyone, this is Nick from NXC Plants, and today I'm going to go over my favorites from the last month. To start off with, I'm going to do one of two honorable mentions, and that's this Philodendron Strawberry Shake. I absolutely love this plant. I definitely got it to replace the Pink Princess because I don't know about anyone else, but that plant just, it doesn't like me and I don't like it, but I still, you know, want that pink. I've been enjoying growing this one. It's nice and marbly. And while I have you here, I thought I'd show you a trick that I kind of alluded to on Instagram. Since it's doing that stuck leaf thing, my trick, this is going to sound crazy, is I get some, you know, petroleum jelly, like uh, Vaseline, just a little bit on my finger. And I apply the sort of amount you'd apply if you, you had like chapped lips and you wanted to do that and I just apply to where it's stuck to the leaf and then I place it somewhere with good humidity and I find within a few hours, sometimes overnight, the leaf will be popped free or you can just very easily release it yourself because it's trapped that moisture in. And yeah, that's my trick for getting those sort of pinched, stuck in the petiole leaves on these kind of philodendrons. And one last thing, if you're going to be applying that, be careful with applying too much. On some of the species, it can sort of damage the appearance of the leaves. But I find if you just get it right where the seam is, especially if you do it before the leaf emerges or starts getting stuck. If you know you have one that likes to do it every time, I will often do it right when the sort of leaf starts to go. And I find that prevents it from happening in the first place usually. Next up, I'm gonna do my second honorable mention, and that's this Kunzo White Monster. I absolutely love the color this plant gets. It's this sort of gorgeous, eggshell off-white. Beautiful contrast on this leaf. Hold it up to the camera. And of course there's this leaf right here which is just spectacular. And it's working on its third leaf in the middle there. You can see I'm growing it off of a good green leaf here which is I think why I've gotten such good growth out of it. You can see I'm getting good roots going down into the substrate there. Absolutely love this one. It's a large form, so it should size nicely pretty quickly. Yeah, I've been growing it for a while. I'd say it's pretty fast for a variegated monstera, especially one with all this white. I would definitely, definitely recommend checking it out if prices are good in your area. I know they're coming out of TC, so you can get them for a pretty good price these days. Now we're gonna get into my real favorites, which are of course the Anthurium. First up, we've got sort of a rags to riches story. This is a Papillolaminum RA5 self. So it's a sort of a Lagogatung ecotype pap. The reason it's on my favorite list this month, besides this absolutely stunning leaf that hasn't quite darkened up fully yet, but is getting there, is it hit Catafil with this leaf. This one was on the struggle bus for me for a while there. It didn't have the best time with my cooler temps. And by my cooler temps, I mean when I didn't turn the heater on one night during a cold snap and the tents got a little chilly. So yeah, it was not happy with me. Really in the last eight weeks, I'd say, it's put on some absolutely beautiful growth and definitely quickly becoming one of those plants I really like catches my eye whenever I'm looking in the tent. And with this leaf, you can really see the reason I picked this specific specimen. I picked it at a pretty good size, so you can start to tell its traits. And I really liked the dark color and the texture to the leaf, and call it belation. Absolutely beautiful. And really the epitome of what I look for in sort of this ecotype of pap. You know, I like the nice pinched lobes, the elongated shape. My next favorite of the month, gotta be my Carla Blackie. This is the RA5 XRA10. Show you up close. Get a good idea of what it looks like. Here are the two oldest leaves on the plant, right here in the middle. And this is the previous leaf. Here on the side. I mean, should be pretty apparent why it's all my favorites. I'll hold the flower up. I don't want to give away what the hybrid is if I can help it. Sure, I'm gonna have it visible at some point, but see beautiful white spathe. And right now it's starting to produce pollen. So if you want to get a look at what it looks like when it's going into the pollen phase. And it's also started a new leaf. I gotta hide my face. I don't know if that'll be visible or if I'll be able to zoom in at all, but new leaf had just started to poke out there. I'm definitely on the Carla train. I think it's all aboard right now. Everyone's obsessed over the Carlas and I'd say rightfully so. They've got beautiful petiole texture as well. So they've got a lot of like really nice features that make them pretty special. I will say I definitely thought they were just expensive crystal lime at some point, but now that I've grown both a crystal lime and a Carla, like I can see and appreciate the difference. Carla Blackie. 
The next plant on my favorites for this month is this Anthurium papillolaminum Voldemort XL from Woohoo Tropicals. The reason it's on my favorites is this was its first caterpillar leaf. With that comes sort of an idea at what the final mature shape is definitely going to look like. I'm just absolutely loving it. I was talking to Corbin the other day and I jokingly said it has that like ancient fertility goddess sort of body shape with the really wide hips. And I'm going to insert a picture of the thing. You'll get an idea why I think it kind of looks like that little ancient statue thing. But yeah, here is the Papillolaminum Voldemort itself. And I know it's the second Pappy on this list, but I absolutely love, 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 love all of the Anthurium Papillolaminum varieties. It's probably my favorite species if I had to pick like a species just because there's so much variety and so many different like shapes, colors, sizes even that they come in. Let me see you how it's, the backs are looking on camera. It sort of faded down. It was quite an intense red. I'll insert a picture. Another nice dark pap variety. And yeah, like I said, it's at Catafil. It doesn't look like I'm gonna get a flower with this leaf, but it started work on its next leaf. So hopefully with that, I'll see signs of flowering. So I'd love to start making some hybrids with this plant. This will be fun. Let's take a peek at the roots. Cause it's been in here now for a little, ooh, has it been in here now for month, month and a half? And I'm gonna take a peek over oh, the roots. Oh, they're not really visible. The leaves are hanging down in front. Let me spin it around. You can see some root growth. And what I like to do is when I see big roots poking out, when it's pretty freshly been moved into a pot like this, is I'll often prune them. That way the roots, instead of continuing to go long into the reservoir, they branch inside of the pot. And that helps you build a denser root system. It's not necessary, and oftentimes the plant will do it itself as it encounters moist air chamber rather than the substrate. It'll often rot the tip, and it won't rot back to the plant. It'll just start branching higher up on the root. Pretty pleased with how it's been going along after the repot. Got a little bit of discoloring on this leaf, but other than that, it took the repot with an emergent leaf like a champ. I'm gonna do my best to talk about this one while holding it and hiding from the camera so it doesn't try to focus on my face while also allowing the mic enough room that the audio doesn't sound funny. Here we go. This is the Anthurium Waquianum. It's not fully in frame. Now it's out of frame again. Just this one spot I can hold it where it fits. Which is, I mean, part of the reason it's on this list is this leaf, this enormous leaf. And it's actually got another one on the way. So it's pretty happy with me now. The stem is also like, turned into like a little tree trunk. The reason it's on my favorites for this month is it gave me its first inflow. I always love when I get flowers because that like tells me the plant is at least like minimally accepting the care I'm giving it. And you know, these queens, it can be touch or go. They're not always the easiest certainly not the easiest to keep looking pretty. And pretty quickly it gave me another leaf. So I mean, not much to say. It's gorgeous. It's dark. It's getting really big. I would love to make hybrids with it, but. Queens can be pretty hard to do that. I've failed a few times now. However, I'm gonna keep trying because gorgeous plant. I don't wanna crush the Carla behind me, so I've got like no play. My plans for this guy are to give it a repot soon into something a little bit bigger. I'd love to give these roots some space to expand. It's been in this pot now for a while. However, I'm running into a problem where the plant is quickly outgrowing my tent and I don't really know if I can put it in a bigger pot and still fit it where it's currently. So I've got to make a decision soon about how I'm going to redo the tents to accommodate all these bigger plants, especially going into grow season. And I think I've started to notice is a lot of them shoot inflows that are even bigger than like, not bigger, taller than themselves. So that adds another challenge because I like to run into the shelves above them. So I've got a big project coming up of reorganizing the tent. So that'll be fun. But yeah, here is the Anthurium Waquianum. I literally think I'm gonna have to do this entire one holding the plant like this. So this last one on the list is my NSC Wenlingeri. So, I mean, it's getting huge. That's why it's on this list. It's got bumps and some nice emergent. That's why this leaf is that color right now. It's not quite hard yet. It's still at the point where it's starting to develop the bumps. For those of you with the Wenlingeri, probably pretty distracting how it's swinging. Can't do anything about that. This was an impromptu ad to the list because it is giving me the first flower. And this is one of those ones with a curly Q flower. So I'm terribly excited to see it because I mean, it'll just be so much fun to have that for the first time. Here's the NSC one linger. It's a sub velvet one, but I think it's got beautiful dark strappy foliage and it's started putting out these massive leaves for me. And I'm pretty excited to see how much bigger this current one gets because it still has quite a bit of growing. If you can see the bottom last night, the tips of this leaf 
and this emergent were actually the same length when they were hanging like this. So you can see just since last night it put on about that much. And I know some of that comes from the droop, which I'm going to try and show you without damaging up above. But yeah, I don't know, I've been enjoying this guy. I look at it quite a bit, and that's really how I decide this list. Here you go, NSC Wenlingerai. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or want to leave anything down below, please do. I always look forward to reading everyone's comments and responding. Have a good one. <laughs>